Hello and welcome. I am your host Outlaw0420, Priest of Azora, and this is Collectibles of the Wasteland. In this series, we go after the unique collectibles that you can find in the Fallout series, including Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 76. Today, we're doing the collectibles at the Vault Tech Agricultural Research Center in the game Fallout 76. Alright, so... The Baltic Agricultural Research Center is located in the forest area of Appalachia and it is directly west of Flatwoods and east of the Poseidon Power Substation as well as the workshop, the Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm. Alright, so when you do come here, you may have hostile. Mr. Handies, which are these guys right here, the Mr. Farmhands, and you will have to complete a quest called Fertile Soil, which asks you to take out three supervisors and then change the parameters of the Mr. Handies to exclude humans from there. But I've already completed that quest, so there is nothing to go on right now. It's a recurring quest so depending on if you jump a server or you come here it may be completed or you may have to do that do keep that in mind if you do come to hostile mr farmhands all right so we're going to be looking for the vault tech bobbleheads as well as the magazines that can spawn in this location uh, there are four potential areas to find them for both magazines and uh, bobbleheads so we're gonna start with the magazines first I mean the sorry the bobbleheads first and our first one is on the first floor inside the men's restroom in a urinal so let's go find that as you enter you can come down in here and this is the men's restroom and in one of these urinals you do have a chance to find a Voltec bobblehead unfortunately not one in this one this time so we'll head to our next one in the western corner of the hydroponics room inside one of the three refrigerators near the locked room. So we'll go ahead for that one real quick. Alright, and here's the hydroponics room. And these are the refrigerators that they're talking about. And on one of these three refrigerators, you can find a potential bobblehead. It's either going to be inside one of these two standing ones or on top of this one that's fallen. But no luck this time. So we're going to head for our next one, which is upstairs in an office on the southeast of the back stairs in a filled cabinet drawer on the ground near an office desk fan. So let's head for the offices upstairs. This is one of the locations that you can find an overseer's uh, holotape. It's right there on top of the front desk when you enter into the building. Uh, just in case you're doing that quest. So the room that they're talking about is directly upstairs and inside this room. It would be right here. Because there's coffee cups this time, but no bobblehead, unfortunately. And it could also be in one of these two that it could spawn in as well. Because here's the office desk pan. So no luck this time. The last location for a bobblehead is in a dry section of the basement laboratory near an empty filing cabinet on the corner of the metal desk with a destroyed terminal. So let's head for the basement and see if we get lucky with bobbleheads. Alright, we're back in the front lobby and we're going to start with the magazines our first one is on the second floor in the same room as McFarland's terminal it is sitting on a cardboard box next to the sleeping bag all right so let's head for that room actually over here in the back corner and it would be located right here on this desk if we did actually find a magazine spawning here but it doesn't look like we got lucky this time, so let's head for our next location. On the second floor, inside the office room, next to the broken terminal in the northeast corner of the room, 
which is near a blue atomic paint lining against the wall. Alright. So it's gonna be in this office room. And right here is the painting. And it would have been in this terminal. Or at least next to this terminal. This is where it would have spawned. There's the blue atomic painting on the floor, but nothing spawned this time. So let's head for our third location. It's on the second floor on the shelf in the northwest corner of the small storage room. Blue wallpaper between the ruin conference room hole in the wall and fitting room across the hallway on the lower metal shelf near the open foot locker underneath. All right, so as soon as you exit this door, you'll come in here, you'll see the glowing fungus, and here's the hole in the wall. And on these metal shelves on the bottom of them, if we're lucky, a magazine would spawn, but no magazines so far, no luck this time. Hopefully our last location will give us a luck for the magazine inside the basement in the northwest corner within a side room with metal shelves sitting on the right corner of the planter table all right let's go to the basement and find those shelves all right so we're gonna come in here and you're actually gonna come into this flooded area turn and here is where you can find these metal shelves and it doesn't look like anything spawned in this time well that does it for this location ladies and gents the vault tech agricultural research area those are the eight locations that you can find a collectible in for the first four were for bobblehead and the last four were for magazines unfortunately we didn't get any luck this time as fallout 76 is an online game and someone could have gotten it at a previous time if you do do server hopping which means you log out log back in you jump into a different server and you might be able to find what you're looking for so do keep that in mind. Also, private servers, if you have a first subscription, can help you out getting these because you're the only person that's going to be in that server. So you should be able to find one of the bobbleheads or magazines in the location. If you enjoyed finding collectibles in the wasteland and these dosed tones, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and do whatever else the YouTube gods demand of you, like leaving a comment and liking the video. It does help other people see. If you do like finding collectibles and my dose of tones, as I said before, I do have a playlist of 46 other videos of finding collectibles in the wasteland that spanned all the games, except for Fallout New Vegas. That one is a little bit difficult to get some content in, but pretty soon I should be moving into Fallout New Vegas. But Fallout 4, Fallout 76, and Fallout 3, I do have collectible findings in those so just find the playlist, it's in the little square at the top. And as always, remember, someone out there appreciates you because I appreciate you. May Azores Glow find you ever warmly. Bye!